Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, we are going to see an example of insecure design or mainly client side vulnerability that can be used by attackers to do some malicious actions. Right? So, before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you an amazing way to bypass file upload restriction, even when the uh, server is checking all of the necessary uh, things like extension and the content type, everything. Right? So go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can see it on the right side of the screen. And now with that being said, let's get started. So what do you guys think that is the most, uh, you know, useful tool for the hackers, right? So obviously many, many of you will think that Burpsuit is quite good. You know, we have OWASP uh, Zap proxy tool yet. Yeah, that's also very good. We have uh, Metasploit, which is actually an amazing tool of exploits and payloads, right? But there is a underrated tool that, you know, many hacker miss, which can be used to, you know, dive deep into the client side vulnerability, right? Which is nothing but the dev tool, which is present inside every browser on the internet, right? Let's try to see that how we can use those browsers, only browsers to exploit client side vulnerabilities with ease, right? So let's try to see how we can do that. So for example, I'm going to open my Brave browser over here. You can also download it. So I'll give the link in the description. You can just go and click on that and we'll just download this Brave. Just download it right over here. And as you can see, I am onto my local host. And this is a small lab that I have created to demonstrate how we can find client-side vulnerabilities and how we can exploit them as well, right? So as you can see right over here, it is saying that apply a coupon code, right? So we need to pass some coupon code over here, right? And then we'll click on the validate button. And if the coupon code is, you know, actually valid, then uh, we'll get some discount, right? And if not, then we'll get some error, right? So let's try to see uh, if I type this is a random coupon, right? Uh, let's cut this for now. Let's try to validate this. And as you can see, it is showing that the coupon is invalid, right? So let's try to dive into the JavaScript code and let's try to see what happens. So I'm just going to click on the view page source and here it is. This is the code that is actually validating the coupon, right? Let's try to see how it is validating it, right? So if you ever come across uh, an application that is solely uh, created with JavaScript like Angular and React, right? So most of the critical things are actually there at the front end part itself. You just need to find out by yourself. So I have not, I'm not going to demonstrate the React and the Angular framework in this video, but said, let's try to stick with the basic uh, HTML file and if the, and let's try to get the basic idea of how we can exploit and find lights and vulnerabilities, right? So for example, as you can see, when we are clicking the button, this is the button and when we are clicking it, this function is getting called, right? This is the call function, which is getting called when we are clicking this. Now here's this function defined. So the first thing that this function is doing is actually storing the variable, uh, the value of this uh, input field. So for example, if I've given this is a random coupon, then it's going to save this in this particular variable. And then it is getting the current date, right? So this is a date dot now function, which is used to get the current date of uh, the, the system. For example, if I go and type, uh, like if I go to the console and if I type console, dot log date dot now we see that we'll get this timestamp and we can actually convert this timestamp just convert timestamp online hit this let's click on the very first link and let's try to paste this and as you can see this has been converted right so this is the current time so this is the date and everything as you can see right over here. So this is what this value uh, is all about. So it, it is a timestamp, right? So let's go back to the source code and the timestamp is getting stored in the current date, right? Now, if you see right over here, we have something value dot split, which is this, and we have this value and we have this value, right? So if you take a close look, then this part is, you know, clearly understandable. Why? Because as you can see, uh, the value of current date is getting stored over here and it is actually checking whether the current date is equals to the value of this, right? If it is, 
and the second condition is value dot split and this is at the zeroth index let's try to understand it from an example let's say that i have declared a variable let's say yas dash Ahmed, for example right now i want to get the data between those this uh, uh this line right this minus symbol so how will i get it right for example if i have a variable let's say let b equals to something like this bias math be practical something like this right and now i want the data in the format of this bias math and b practical so basically i want to get rid of the minus symbol or i want to split this uh this values wherever the minus is occurring i want to split the value how will i do this right so we have a split method in javascript that we can use so if i type a dot split show you and if i pass this so it is going to split the value from this minus symbol as you can see fayaz is over here ahmed is over here so basically fayaz it uh, is at the index position number zero and ahmed is at the index position number one so the same thing if we do with the variable b we'll get fayaz ahmed and b practical right as you can see fayaz ahmed and b practical quite simple right so this thing is actually splitting the value right and on the zeroth position which means that the very first position it is checking if the value is equals to this particular string x y z one two three right and then the second variable the second check is the date right so if the date equals to this then it is going to alert us and it is going to say that discount added right otherwise it will alert invalid options right so this is what this code is all about so think for a few seconds what will be the vulnerability in this particular code right you might be thinking that okay we can do something like this we can just copy this and we can just paste it right over here something like this xyz and we can pass this minus because you know the value is getting splitted and then we can type one two three four five anything if i click on validate you see that again we are getting the invalid coupon why are we are getting this because it is also checking the current date right so the current date must be equals to the date which has been already specified in this particular application right so maybe this coupon is actually expired that's why the developer is checking the current date so if the current date is equals to this particular date only then it is allowing us to apply the coupon right so pause this video and think for a few seconds what will be the vulnerability in this code and i'll get back to you in five seconds five four three two one so let me know if you have guessed the vulnerability in the comment section and now let's try to see what is the actual vulnerability and how we can exploit it so the thing over here is that we can easily modify the value inside this current date how we can do this that's where the dev tool come into play right and since this is all happening at the front end part so the tools like burp suit and zeta proxy will do nothing for you right that's why you need to have some basic knowledge of javascript if you want to dive deep into any application and any modern applications right let's try to see this so if i type this let's go to the sources section and here we have this code right over here, right so we can actually add a breakpoint right a breakpoint where the code will stop and we can actually play with the variables that have their own custom value set by the system for example if i add a breakpoint over here then when i click the button this function will get called the value will get stored Parent data will get stored and the program will halt at this line, right? And then we can modify the value of the current date. Let's see how we can do this. So for example, I have already added a breakpoint. We can just a single click on this and it will get done. Let's try to validate this. So X, Y, Z, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's click on validate. And as you can see, right over here, the program has stopped, right? And if you go to the scope section, we we'll see that we have the local variable right over here right and now i can simply double click on it and i can modify it to the value which it wants 
right so it actually want this value right i can just copy this and i think the i have deleted it so let me just try it again display it let's try to click on validate again and let's remove this one two three four five to some small value like 50 because this value is going to be reflected over here right so let's click on validate again and let's minimize it we have this current date let's double click on it let's paste this right let's hit enter and now let's click on this play button and as you can see right over here we have successfully bypassed the uh, application right the front end part of the application so we have successfully exploited a client side vulnerability which allowed us to exploit or to use the coupons that are already expired right so this is how we can look for client side vulnerabilities using the dev tools in javascript files i hope that you have understood it so i'm going to continue this series for a while so it is actually a very interesting topic and we'll get to know a lot of things about client side vulnerabilities so i hope that you have understood it if you have any doubt if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses and both of them are very awesome courses the first one is hacking windows with python where you learn that how hackers create their own custom malware that can be used to bypass any antivirus till now that can execute system commands upload and download files from the victim's machine that can do a bunch of cool stuff like accessing webcams and so many things and by taking that that course you'll also learn to add your own custom functionality in that application right the second course is bug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt account takeovers wherein you're going to learn that how we can break the logic of an application to achieve account takeover vulnerability and compromise victims account because of the website's misconfiguration so i hope that you have understood it uh, if you want to check out these courses the link is given in the description and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching